Well, everyone, in my attempt to prove that my channel is not a Tomodachi life-specific channel, I have now done something that is extremely niche to me and the very selective group of people. So, I've done iceberg videos in the past before. Well, I I've done a iceberg video in the past before. And despite the fact that the trend's kind of dead, I don't care, and I'm going to make another one. This is an iceberg talking all about Infected Mushroom, which, uh, if you're unfamiliar, Infected Mushroom is a band that does primarily Psytrance electronic music, you know, all that good stuff. Now, well, this is a topic that many of you probably do not know about or have literally no clue what to expect from. I can guarantee you'll still find at least some of it interesting, even if it isn't the kind of music that you listen to. I think that this kind of thing is just kind of entertaining to hear about in general, even if you don't, like, care about the people that are involved. And if you do, then that makes it all the more better because then you actually have something to see that's actually kind of interesting even if you did or didn't know about most of it. This video is a major collaboration between people from the Infected Mushroom Discord including additional narration from Scrub Who Sucks. I'd also like to specifically thank Nerdlaw, Genesis Does, and Oblivion Fall for helping with individual parts of the iceberg. Basically all of the active users on the server were involved in some capacity on helping with this, but these are the people who were the most directly involved. I'll link the unofficial Discord server for Infected Mushroom in the description, because that's basically where everybody who's involved in this is from. Note that I can't play a lot of the music because of good old YouTube copyright, so um, I'm gonna have to find a bit of a loophole here. So uh, if you hear some weird ass shit, then you can guarantee why that's the case. But yeah, without any more delay, I will get right into it. First off, we have Dub Dub and Arrows and album covers. Dub Dub and Arrows, the creators of Infected Mushroom, appears a cameo on the album cover for more than just a name and on the inside covers of Converting Vegetarians and Vicious Delicious CDs. Art and photos is basically just a catch-all for all the promo images that are used throughout time for Infected Mushroom. Obviously, there's quite a bit of these, but I would recommend looking into it since some of them are pretty humorous. There are a handful of well-known Infected Mushroom music videos that are official or not. These include stuff like Pink Nightmares, You Are So Fucked, Smashing the Opponent, etc. Not much to say about this one, but Infected Mushroom sells merchandise, which includes vinyls. These vinyls are highly looked after by the community because they seem to be pretty rare. They also sell clothing, CDs, posters, and rolling papers, which I'm sure you can guess what those are for. During their live shows, there are quite a bit of VIPs playing. Obviously, I can't play most of them, especially not all of them but more than likely you'll notice the differences if you're familiar with the songs and are listening to their sets. The animation meme community loves to repeatedly spread the same audio clips around, and two tracks by Infected Mushroom make up some of these community memes. These tracks include Change of Formality and Pink Nightmares. Typically, animation memes will use highly edited versions of the songs for their memes, making the audio just sound a little bit crusty. For most albums or singles, Infected Mushroom will release a studio vlog to go along with it, explaining each track, its backstory, and all the parts that go into the song. Infected Mushroom has been signed into a variety of record labels over the years, including B&E, Yo-Yo, Homega, Dim Mock, Monster Cat, and their own label, Mushroom Touring Inc. Most of Infected Mushroom's tracks, like, extend over six minutes, so some of these have modified radio edits. Differences could change from just the length of the track to brand new instruments or sections. For example, the Saeed radio edit now includes clear bongo percussion for the chorus and piano for the ending section. Meanwhile, the Cities of the Future radio edit has a brand new beginning section with two guitars. Sometimes a song gets so popular that it gets remixed by a popular artist. Infected Mushroom have released a few remix albums, which are a compilation of songs remixed by different people. These include Smashing the Opponent, Killing Time, Nevermind, You Are So Fucked, Nation of Wusses, and Fields of Grey. Fungus Among Us was a tour Infected Mushroom hosted in 2013 and 2014. It's overall a pretty cool looking tour. Their concerts include a lot of these really high quality technology, but the average person can only really think of, ha ha hey, those two are inside of balls. Nowadays this tour might be known for different reasons. At the time they decided to start this, Infected Mushroom was one of few electronic music groups who decided to perform live music instead of exclusively DJ sets. They were partially inspired by bands like Pendulum to do this. For whatever reason, Infected Mushroom released two mixes of the EP Shroomies with some significant changes. During Leftover's breakdown segment, the alternative mix has a weaker lead playing the melody and some minor changes have been made. For Back At It and Mao Seem, these were two changed completely. The alternate album mix can be found on Infected Mushroom's YouTube channel as it is the only place where they uploaded it. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Infected Mushroom was unable to perform live for over a year. Due to this, they had a lot of online performances, including one show in Minecraft. The show went relatively well, aside from a couple server hackers who flew and stared into the cameras, which would immediately get them banned. In 2021, Infected Mushroom released the EP Shroomies, which coincided with an NFT drop. This caused a widely mixed reaction on its own, but the EP itself was available publicly, which you would assume is a pretty good thing all around. Well, sometimes we can have nice things, and Infected Mushroom revealed that the fifth track, Bobka, would be available through NFT only. 
This track is now owned by a single investor who cannot legally reveal the track to the public. NFTs have been consistently rising and plummeting in value, so hopefully this means that no future EPs or albums will face similar strife. Only a preview of this track exists as of today. Before Infected Mushroom was formed, Eres went by a stage name called Shiva Shidapu. He managed to make quite a lot of tracks during this part of his career and he also collaborated with other artists such as DJ Yug, because I'm pretty sure that was actually a duo band and he was part of it, so it wasn't only Eres. Uh, I think that's how it went, but I'm not like 100% sure, I just saw that on an internet page. But anyway, a lot of their, a lot of their tracks, some of their more well-known tracks include Power of a Celtic, Shiva Devotional, and India Spirit. Old School Dub Dev refers to the pictures you can see on the internet where you can clearly see Dubdev having facial hair, like a mustache and beard, I think. Uh, it's kind of a meme, I guess, in the infected mushroom community, because nowadays he's as bald as an egg, an egg-looking motherfucker. But back then, he still had some hair. Funky. You Don't Miss With Zohan is a movie directed by Dennis Dugan and produced by Adam Sandler. In a particular scene of the movie, you can hear artillery playing in the background while the people I, I don't know I don't know the plot of the movie but they seem to be packing up some artillery. <laughs> They're very very fun very funny guys. Very funny. Okay, this is a little irrelevant to infected mushroom as a whole, but if you go to any goddamn comment section that is a comment section of the gathering, the full album. You can find a lot of people talking about how they somehow got really got into really bad trips while listening to the album. Like you know, of course, like, you know, this side trance. There are gonna be people like, oh, I smoke crack cocaine. But a lot of people out there are like, I, I saw Dub Dub come into my room and kill me to death. Like, 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 God damn, is there like a is there like a curse going around with the gathering, or is this just some kind of coincidence? Makes you think, doesn't it? Dubdevina is Dubdev's sister from Moscow, I believe, who everyone is thirsting over on the internet. <laughs> you have seen them, right? You have seen the thirsters. Well, actually, surprise, surprise, it's just Dubdev with a wig and some voice manipulation to make his voice higher. <sighs> get, get, get fucked, I, get, I, I guess. Okay, I have no idea how this happened, but during the production of more than just a name, <laughs> Infected Mushroom Studio flooded and they had to replace everything inside of it. Uh, this is why the album ended up being shorter than planned, because now it only has 8 songs and one of them is just that remix track by Space Noise and Vertical Mode. But I still wanna know, how the hell did their studio flood? How? Okay, old school fans know this one. The original Symphonatic was a track by Infected Mushroom themselves, which was released within Tsunami Semper 2 EP by Infected Mushroom and Yahel. In 2020, the song got upgraded with a remix made by Infected Mushroom and Asterix for the album More Than Just The Name. So, from what I've gathered, Apple Music has falsely claimed that Converted Vegetarians 2 was released in 2003. It's kind of a slip up, but they could have accidentally mixed Converted Vegetarians 2 with the original Converted Vegetarians, which was released in 2003, if you didn't know that. Fun fact. <laughs> you guys know See Me now, right? <laughs> from Friends on Mushrooms, the best track on Friends on Mushrooms. Uh, you can find See Me Now in the digital releases of Friends on Mushrooms Deluxe, but not on CD releases. What is this? Really? Oh no. I was about to get that CD. Oh god damn it. During the Converting Vegetarians 2 blog, Dubdev said that Surge was supposed to be a guest singer in the Surgeon, but as you realize, he didn't make the cut. So instead of his vocals, they decided to use that beautiful, wonderful electric guitar sounding lead at the end melody. Oh god, do we really have to talk about this? Can we, can we talk about something else? Okay, fine, fine. Fine, let me tell you about this again. YouTuber Oblivion Fall After Dark has uploaded three remixes of Infected Mushroom tracks, these being Welcome to the Come Zone, that is a remix of Flamingo, Higher to the Come Throne, that is a remix of Spitfire, and Your Come Won't Last, a remix of Kababies. Uh, people more than likely know these remixes better than the original versions, which is uh, 
I, I don't know what to say. Uh, like, you know, come, 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 come. BP Empire Deep Mix and Roll as a Giant are tracks that appear on the BP Empire EP and on vinyl. I think they existed before the full album was released, but as you can probably tell from listening to the BP Empire Deep Mix, that is a completely different version of the song that we got in the album. In the Infected Mushroom YouTube channel, you can find a lot of random blogs that are not dedicated to, you know, their albums or music. These can include, you know, when they went to Japan or India or wherever they are doing things. I rem I'm pretty sure in India they went into a barber shop and Dubdev got his beard cut? Shaved? I I'm not sure. And then one of them, you could, you could actually find out how they discuss things like, you know, which part was going to be in the track, and that was by playing a game of chess. Polyverse is a company co-founded by Asaf Dalsagol, Avram Suhami, and Eris Eisen, though I think we all know who is at this point. Their mission is to bring plugins of high quality and inspired by Infected Mushroom's way of music making and composing. At the moment, they have created five of them, which are... Uh, in order, I think it's I wish, manipulator, uh, comet, gatekeeper, and wider. So I think wider is just an add-on from manipulator. But oh well. Nowadays, infected mushroom uses them quite a lot during their music making progress. There exist two versions of the Vicious Delicious album cover. In one of them, the girl in the picture is holding a heart. In the other, she's holding what seems to be an organ of some sort with a smiley face. In the same picture, you can see her ribcage in its full glory. I wonder what's the reasoning behind needing two album covers of the exact same composition. Wait, what is this? A fun fact, the band Cedar uses the original unedited version of the same image for one of their albums, finding beauty in negative spaces. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the info, Plastic Knife. <laughs> thanks. Also, another fun fact, because I forgot to mention it, uh, the artist who created the character for Vicious Delicious, uh, the character that's in the image is named Candace the Ghost, made by David Ho. Thank you. Where Is Ass was a track released on 1998. It was part of a CD compilation album called Destination Go at the 7th Chapter. In 2001, they made a callback to the song with a new track called As Is Here, which was part of DJ Yahoo's CD album Mixing in Action. I'm not sure if the songs have anything in common, but I suppose it was just a fun callback for a completely different track. Classical Mushroom is a single that was released four months after the album Classical Mushroom was released, which probably explains why it wasn't put into the album as well. Dubdub states that he was attempting to quit smoking on studio blog, so it can be pretty confidently confirmed that he has smoked in the past. He also stated in the Friends on Mushrooms Volume 2 studio blog that he hadn't smoked in a while and had successfully quit. Good for him, good for him. During a studio blog, Dubdub and Eres receive a call from their manager Randy. After the phone call ends, Eris asks what they should do about the recording, to which Dobda responds, I will just cut it out. They did not cut it out. Hadag Nahash is an Israeli funk band founded in 1996. Their music has had very politically left views and they have been played during all sorts of protests. The band has met ways with Infected Mushroom a few times. They collaborated with Time to Wake Up and Legalize, which was their stance on legalization of marijuana in Israel. I don't know how to spell that. Hadang Nahash themselves also made a cover of Artillery, giving it a more acoustic vibe. Hope 6, also known as Hatikva 6, is an Israeli reggae band founded in 2007, I believe. They have collaborated with Infected Mushroom as well. Their most well-known collaborative effort is Where Do I Belong, but they've also made Ko Pang Han, Yom Hara Shole, and Ad Or Sheyale, I hope, to, to, I hope that's how they're spelled. In the future, they're also going to be making songs such as, well, collabs more likely, such as Serious Times, God Damn It, We're Stuck in a Pandemic, and Business as Usual. During the second drop of Riot's Fields of Grey remix, you can very well hear a moan sound used. But I think we all know who that sound belongs to, considering that Shasha Grey is the main singer of the track. So, this uh, this entry relates to the fact that both Dubdev and Neres like to play ping pong in their spare time. There are quite a few blogs where you can see them playing it 
and in two of those I believe they also built a ping pong table so there's that also on one of the one well, live show teasers you can see them playing ping pong while they're trying to build the stage like what what are, what are you doing what are you two doing a joke within the infected mushroom community is that Randy, their manager and musician not related to infected mushroom, is dubbed as clone for their uncanny resemblance to each other. He told a story how once they managed to fool an entire audience in a live show by putting Randy in dubbed Dev's shoes, but uh, I hope that is not true because good grief, man. Excuse me, gonna read this straight from the script because this is so goddamn long. So, <clears throat> said an infected mushroom were planning a collab together during the making of Army of Mushrooms. During this times, that happened to be working with. Oh my God, it's Lady Gaga! Infected Mushroom sent him a demo of their half of the track titled Kink, which Lady Gaga happened to hear one day in the studio and she instantly wanted to buy the song from Infected Mushroom to use for her newest album at the time, Art Pop. Infected Mushroom was hesitant to do so as they were afraid as to how their reputation may be affected by the reaction of longtime fans to the Lady Gaga being a mainstream artist, but they eventually agreed, only if Lady Gaga would credit them as their names instead of Infected Mushroom in order to try and prevent backlash. Lady Gaga, however, did not agree to do this and instead gave Infected Mushroom full credit and Zed finished the incomplete portions of the song and released it as Aura, earlier known as Burka if I remember correctly. Ultimately, this song did not dram dramatically affect Infected Mushroom's reputation at all and Art Pop as a whole is considered Lady Gaga's weakest album. Eris reacted strongly when questioned about the song in an interview, stating that he did not like what it ultimately turned out to become. And this is why, this interview is why there was a like a whole goddamn war in a certain comment section. In a certain song's comment section, uh, I think you might know what it is, but we're not gonna talk about that now. There exists quite a number of songs that were never released in an Infected Mushroom album, but instead in a compilation album or just as a single. You can find some of them on Spotify, but I'm pretty sure almost all of them can be found on YouTube. There even exists a fan album called Perfect Dissonance that includes more of their unknown songs. Like, uh, let's see here, there's a... Uh the original Symphonatic, Doremifas, 9%, Toasted Mushroom, Desert Storm. I, I, okay, what, what is Desert Storm? Is that even an actual? Is that even an actual song? Angel Jonathan. Where's this from? What are these songs? Oh no. Sadum is an old school track, which at this point is their longest track, lasting for a whopping 14 minutes and 41 seconds. The track is so old school that it was made in 1995, a whole year before Dubdev and Eris started going by the name Infected Mushroom. On an Ask Me Anything session on reddit.com, user Rogue Yoshi questioned, Do you plan on working with anyone from TIP slash Twisted Records in the future? I'd love to see something between you guys and pretty much any of them. Raja, Simon, OTT, Benji, etc, etc. Infected Mushroom replied, We want to do a Spangla Mushroom track, so uh, that's, a, that's, that's it. A lot of people want it, you probably want it, but they haven't done that. It's kinda suspicious. You are so smart are the original lyrics for you are so fucked. Dub them made the lyrics on the spot while on a tour because their driver had parked in an unknown location. During the walk there, Dub them started singing the lyrics and recorded them on his phone, wanting to make it into a track later. In the studio, Eris wanted to change smart to fucked because he thought it sounded more intense. This entry refers to the fact that Infected Mushroom likes to use a lot of Dub Dev's vocals and noises and sounds in their songs, whether it be like heavily distorted or him just singing and stuff like that. But I wonder if we're ever going to get, you know, the unedited vocals, just the normal you know, you know, things like that. Maybe when they retire, but I'm not sure. On SoundCloud there exists a different mix of Mexicali with, you guessed it, heavier drums and overall instruments. The Push It plugin is a collaboration between Infected Mushroom and Waves Audio. It's supposed to be a quick mastering plugin. They said in an interview video that it's mostly used for mastering on their live shows. There's supposedly an Infected remix of the song Heavyweight that Infected Mushroom has done at some point. It doesn't seem to have been recorded though, so it'll only be known by the people who heard it live. Ares is Cat. The song Dancing with Qaddafi on the album BP Empire is a reference to Qaddafi. From the Fungus Among Us tour forward, Infected Mushroom would sometimes play a remix of Sabotage by Beastie Boys. 
This one has also never been released outside of the live shows, but there are some clean rips of it on YouTube. Apagifa Day is a reference to the track Converting Vegetarians Disc 1 Apagifa Night. The band name Infected Mushroom came from a disbanded local punk band, which Eros and Dove Dev both really liked. In one of their vlogs, Dove Dev shows us their new mouse, the rat. Dove Dev says something like, it's some serious new gear. The Breaking the Habit remix is a remix that was only posted onto their SoundCloud. A reference to the track Herbert the Pervert on the album Legend of the Black Shawarma. Some people assume this is specifically in reference to the Family Guy character. In the 2013 DJ Mag entry, Infected Mushroom decided to remix a clip of a funny Arab guy singing, as the title of the YouTube video says. Since this was Infected Mushroom in 2013, this title is very reminiscent of Army of Mushrooms. In Blink and Illuminati, Dove Dev and Arrows decided to collaborate with Michelle Adamson, a side trans artist as well. In addition to those two tracks, she also sings in Belirium. I'm uncertain if this is explicitly confirmed, but Swingish came out around the same time that Kink probably would have, so it makes sense that it could possibly have replaced it. Dead Mouse has recorded a series of vlogs wherein he will take various musicians to drive out and get coffee. In one of these vlogs, it features Dove Dev. Cream is a track that was released in the Cities of the Future EP in 2004. A bizarre character used in their 2012 DJ Mag video encouraging people to vote for Avicii. Jerry the Lion is a stuffed toy lion voiced with bizarre vocoder effects spliced amongst additional stock lion sound effects. The Maya Mana Troupe is an Israeli band which specializes in percussion instruments and dancing. They usually use everyday items for their sand, which includes trash cans, trash lids, and microwaves. The band has performed with Infected Mushroom during live shows. The most well-known of these collaborations is the Shikaka remake, which was performed during the 2007 Tel Aviv concert. I'm not actually sure what this one specifically refers to, but I think it's just one of their emails that they used to use. In the Drum and Bassa studio blog, Dubdev told Eres about a go into the garden effect which made them both very amused. The question for now is, what is the go into the garden effect exactly? What is its history? Eres, er, Eres. Eres even asked Dubdev what is wrong with him, so it can be pretty much anything at this point. On YouTube exists a video titled Infected Mushroom Rave. The song is actually Tudo Mundo by GMS. Infected Mushroom had this problem back in the day where people thought some Psytrance songs were somehow made by them because, you know, they were a pretty big Psytrance group, so of course I suppose that happened every once in a while. During the Friends on Mushrooms 3 studio blog, Dove Dev and Neres fucking exposed Savant, the collaborator for Rise Up, and how he was not pleased with the track at all. He later decided to compose his own version of the song, which is not as well known as the original. You should give it a listen if you wanna. But eh, I don't think you're missing much. I don't, I don't think you're missing out. Okay, a uh, little clarification. Uh, we kind of fucked up with the iceberg image. People are strange and uh, love me two times. They are not their own separate things. They both come from a remix album called The Doors Remixed, released on July 2007. Okay, please. The Doors are an rock band that was formed in 1965 and I think Infected Mushroom liked their songs because they made the goddamn remix album uh, I, I don't know what else to say that's it during the army of mushrooms era I think Infected Mushroom made a cover of Precious by the Pesh mode the cover gives the song a more somber empty feeling but in a good way also, fun fact, during the second and third chorus of the track, you can hear a pretty clear crackling sound, which definitely doesn't fuck up the listening experience, right? I don't know if I'm a psychopath or anything, but on Asterix on Mushrooms, on the 1 minute and 36 second part, you can slightly hear some kind of vocal clip or something. And I believe, I have my conspiracy theory head on I believe that is a sample of rock that shit homie that is more known to be used by the funky uncle Hideki Naganuma uh, uh plastic I put put the sample here please, please. Rock that shit, homie! in the friends of mushrooms volume 2 studio blog Dovdev mentioned that the lyrics for now is gold are either taken or inspired by American horror story that's it Atima Tok is a song by Infected Mushroom and Machina, one of Israel's most well-known rock bands. The song was made for Infected Mushroom's uh, Piron concert held in Tel Aviv on March 8, 2012 and seems to never be officially released. But thankfully, you can find the full song on YouTube in good enough quality. Half is a song by artist Amir Dadon, which Infected Mushroom remixed once. The problem is that it was only played during the EM21 concert, so no clean version of it exists yet. 
but on YouTube you can find a kind of a low quality recording of it. Forgive Me has heavy themes about letting go with the singer begging for forgiveness for leaving someone behind and begging for reasons to keep going. The lyrics read almost like a suicide note even. The album it's on, Vicious Delicious, contains a lot of tracks that are thematically based around death and murder, so it's not a stretch to say this one is too. Who brought this? Plastic Man? Who? What, are we, what is this? Death and murder? No, no, it's not about death and murder. Obviously, it's about a. It's about a. I did fine. Fine, it's about death and murder, I, I guess. I guess. I seriously don't know. Sleeping is one of the many unreleased infected mushroom tracks, but we couldn't find a date for this one. I believe it could be from 2003 because it kind of sounds like something from the other side of converting vegetarians. Uh, the link to the song was given to those who purchased a limited edition pod like toy, which is a toy of the fungus among us pods. Don't do it. Don't. F don't. 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 Balerium was going to be used in a game called uh, Balerium. It was supposed to be a real-time online multiplayer strategy game, but it has been in development hell for over a decade, so I don't see it happening anytime soon. Dracul was a track from the album Classical Mushroom, but there exists an even older version that predates that one. It's on YouTube for the people who want to listen to it. Why the hell is this on the iceberg and especially so low? This is literally just talking about how infected, I mean, how Dubdev has a Minecraft t-shirt that has like a hyper realistic creeper or something I don't I don't understand I don't understand okay this is uh, referring to a copy pasta made on a certain YouTube video made by someone an insane person I think uh, I you can you can find it on uh, the description we're not I'm gonna force plastic knight here to put it in the description because I am not going to read this this is gonna take me like 10 minutes, okay, three minutes, three minutes, but still, it's in the description, Plastic Knight, please, please, if you don't mind, and we're gonna move on. Rush Bros was a music reactive platform racing game that was released in 2013. The people behind the game somehow managed to collaborate with Infected Mushroom, even the game playable I Am tracks and the tasty Dove Dev and Eris skins. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Plastic Knight, please. Please just cut that out, cut that out. In Infected Mushroom's Spotify page, there exists a single called Elevation. That, that is not the Elevation from Converted Vegetarians, by the way. I don't know how Spotify managed to fuck it up this badly, but the song is actually sold on Elevation by Euphoria. I think it has something to do with the Elevation part of the name. Another victim of the whole mislabeling crisis. Uh, Pink Panther was a remix of the Pink Panther theme song that was done by Beat Hackers for the album Not For Sale. And once again, it's somehow thought that Infected Mushroom did the track. But, yeah. On SoundCloud, you can find a preview for a track named Sidestep 2, uploaded by the official Infected Mushroom account. The song has sadly never been released outside of this preview though. It's a shame because it sounded like one of their most uplifting tracks to date. And like, you know, I wouldn't mind some more happy sounding infected mushroom songs. The front cover of Converting Vegetarians depicts a brain that's caught by a hook. The backside features the track list, which different spots on the brain are labeled as different track titles. If you connect the dots on these labels, they kind of appear to be the shape of a hook in the front side of the cover. YouTuber Hamilton Snow uploaded a version of the album being played in order of the connected dots, titling it The Serpent Order. In a studio blog, Dove Dove credits the title of the song Trance Party to be inspired vaguely by Knife Party. He proceeds an attempt to shout out Rob Swire, but fails miserably and then calls him Bob Swire instead. Apparently, you can play the entirety of Converting Vegetarians to line up with the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Trip Out was an album by Trip. Eras was part of the band before forming Shiva Shirapu. I'll be honest, I have no goddamn clue what Vicious Delicious Bootleg is supposed to be, but uh, I'm assuming it's out there somewhere. It might be on their Discogs or something. Please help us with our GoFundMe in order to give Dove Dev back his lost eyebrow. F is Here is a vinyl early promo version of the track S is Here, a Yahil remix. Alok on Mushrooms is a track created by Infected Mushroom and Alok, which was unreleased. It's highly unlikely that this track will ever end up getting released, but it is played occasionally in a couple of their sets. One faithful day, Dove Dove decided to take a picture of himself wearing a hat with the caption that just said, Mortal Dove Dove. He is an actual psychopath. Apparently you can find Dove Dove's wedding video if you look around the internet hard enough. I have not found it myself, so I don't know if it's actually real or not. 
Kill the Feel slash Weirdo Magnet is an unreleased track, the only known infected mushroom track to have been entirely dubstep. They mentioned in the Friends on Mushrooms 3 studio vlog that the song ended up becoming Bark. In the music video for You Are So Fucked, Eris has a visible bulge. No, I will not be showing this. There's a lot of details missing from this one, so forgive me if it's not super in-depth, but uh, an illustrator going under Fear Sauce created art for Friends on Mushrooms. As the story goes, Infected Mushroom attempted to change the artist for converting vegetarians too, which happened to piss him off, so Infected Mushroom just allowed him to create the art anyways. He also made a bunch of really weird anti-Semitic comments about Infected Mushroom by calling them greedy and money-hungry, despite the fact that he was being employed by them at the time. Songs from the other side is a rare CD featuring radio edits of tracks from the second CD of Converting Vegetarians. It even includes entirely new artwork with black hands featured on the cover. In the background of a couple of Infected Mushroom's Instagram posts, you can see a dog, who is Eros's dog, I'm pretty sure. In the old Infected Mushroom forums, DoveDev mentioned something about getting his own feet collection. In the Pink Neighbors album art, you can see a faceless creature holding some kind of object on its neck. The object, I actually have no clue what it's supposed to be, but it looks kind of like a jewel. Uh, that wasn't a thing until 2017, so it's probably not that. In a Reddit AMA, a user asked DoveDev and Eras what they'd be doing if music wasn't their job. They responded with, 1. Porn. 2. Having a godly falafel stand. And 3. Shavarma porn. Friends on Mushrooms is generally a pretty positive album, arguably their most positive, so that's the only reason why this is here. BP Empire's negative emotional aura is basically just the opposite of the Friends on Mushrooms one. You know that, like, da baby convertible image? Uh, there's just- I guess there's just one of those of Dove Dev, so that's the only reason why this fucking thing exists. Meme within the infected mushroom community. SCP-112000, also known as Dove Dev Ball, is a highly hazardous orb with the face of Amit Dove Devani plastered on the front. The orb is currently in the possession of popular Psytrance duo Infected Mushroom. Pog Dev. That's it. But yeah, anyways, this is the bottom of the iceberg. We finally made it through this personal hell of mine. In the description, if you're interested, I have a playlist of infected mushroom tracks that I like, as well as playlists of tracks that are pretty relevant to whatever I'm talking about in this iceberg. There's a lot of stuff that's not really explained on this iceberg very well, there's stuff that's just not fully elaborated on or things that aren't here in the first place, which if you're interested in that sort of thing, I would check out the actual Discord that we have instead. Again, double thanks to everybody there for helping me with this video, and double thanks to everybody for being a part of it, because yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, this is likely my last video before I disappear here for god knows how long, so, uh, see you later, I guess, huh?